left ventricular diastolic function assessment by echo in atrial fibrillation conventionally left ventricular diastolic function assessment by echocardiography relies on mitral inflow velocity measurement with demonstration of e by a reversal as an evidence of diastolic dysfunction in atrial fibrillation the absence of atrial contraction and the a wave makes this conventional assessment impossible moreover the variation in the cardiac cycle also causes b to b changes in ventricular relaxation a variety of other parameters have been reported to be useful in assessing diastolic function and left ventricular filling pressures by echocardiography in the presence of atrial fibrillation they include mitral e wave deceleration time ratio of mitral e wave to tissue doppler derived mitral annular e prime color m mode derived vp early diastolic flow propagation velocity and the ratio of mitral e wave to vp peak pulmonary vein diastolic flow velocity pulmonary vein diastolic wave deceleration time peak acceleration time of the mitral e wave isovolumetric relaxation time and the ratio of isovolumetric relaxation time to the time between the onsets of mitral e wave and the mitral annular e prime wave flow propagation velocity vp on color m mode is measured as the slope of the first color aliasing velocity from the mitral annulus in early diastole to 4 cm distally into the left ventricular cavity a dual doppler technique has been described for simultaneous measurement of e and e prime so that the ratio e by e prime can be calculated in the same beat itself this avoids the b to b variation of these values in af which would compound a non simultaneous measurement short of this novel technique any measurement in atrial fibrillation would need averaging of values for 5 to 10 cardiac cycles mitral diastolic e wave deceleration time of less than 100 milliseconds correlates with the pulmonary wet pressure of more than 18 mm of mercury deceleration time is the duration between the peak of the e wave and the upper deceleration slope extrapolated to the baseline it is usually measured from the apical four chamber view pulmonary vein diastolic wave deceleration time is also measured in a similar way from the right upper pulmonary vein in the apical four chamber view please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you